morning everybody, Leah here. Today I'm gonna go through the entire skincare empties. I think this is my favorite kind of product reviews because it's actually all the products that I do commit to use till the very end whether I like it or not. So each product has its own story and I'm gonna tell you if I would repurchase or not by the end of the review of each product. So the very first product is Goodall Green Tangerine Vita C Serum. Say no more. This is something that I probably emptied maybe for the fifth time or the sixth time. I will still repurchase it. It is single-handedly the best vitamin C serum that works for my skin that is hella sensitive and hella reactive to a lot of vitamin C serums out there including the ascorbic acid serums, SkinCeutical and all that. I mean those products and formulations are superior and great and all that but this just works really well on my skin and I tell you guys all the time that don't let the green tangerine, the citrusy ingredients scare you because this is really really gentle. In the same tandem, I actually have a couple of cotton pads left from this but this is the Goodall Green Tangerine Vita C Toner Pad. Now these are basically pre-soaked toner pads and this completely dried up so I don't think I can use them. This toner pad was okay, I would definitely not repurchase because not only the wasteful aspect of it, but I don't think it was like fully soaked enough so the texture of the cotton pad felt a little bit too abrasive and I think if you're applying you know, this serum, you really don't need to pair it up with a toner pad. There are two Crave Beauty products that I'm going to talk about. The very first one being Crave Beauty Great Barrier Relief, our number one seller for skin barrier repairment, restoration. But for me, this is more like a first aid kit. Like whenever I have any rashes, skin irritation, or any type of skin condition, this just becomes like my healing ointment or something that just saves my skin um, over time something that just calms my skin down and saves my skin over time. I mean, I've gone through multiple bottles of this, but this one is extra special because I always use like lab samples, leftovers from the production, <laughs> manufacturing rejects, um, but this was the very first time I actually gone through a proper proper bottle So I'm excited to kind of find out what it actually looks like when it's open because the silicone balloon insert inside here would shrink as you use it so you are literally using up every ounce of the product without a waste. This is definitely a ride or die so no question for repurchasing. The next product is Great Body Relief I think, oh, there's, oh, there are some left. This product, guys, is pretty amazing. It's something that has gained its own like little cult following because I know a lot of people who have eczema or any type of weakness with their skin barrier on their body do tend to use great barrier relief on their skin and on their body skin especially. So we wanted to create that but in a body lotion version and a much jumbo size. The best part about this is that it immediately absorbs without needing you to stand there, rub it for like 10 seconds straight. It just immediately soaks it in into the skin and you're good to go and your skin would feel very hydrated, very moisturized throughout the day. So highly, highly recommend. Speaking of skin barrier repairing and restorative product, I think this is a really, really good hidden gem that not a lot of people know about it yet. This is Dr. Different 113 Moisturizer and they have like multiple different variations, one for oily, one for normal, or one for dry skin. Um, I picked up the oily skin version and this is a brand from Korea that is gaining some popularity over time. I know that this was founded by the same founder of CMP Laboratory products that was acquired by LG Household and Healthcare a couple of years back. Um, or maybe 10 years ago. The founder is a dermatologist and this does remind me of that SkinCeuticals 242 triple lipid restore cream or whatever. Basically your fat but better or your lipid but better type of creams. This is really great for a broken skin barrier, someone who is looking for that kind of oomph in natural moisturizing factors. At first, I was a little bit weirded out with the texture because it did remind me of this kind of whipped ricotta cheese type of texture and even though this product says it is for oily skin, this felt a little bit oily. <laughs> so I didn't really appreciate it at first but 
over time, I felt like my skin just felt so comfortable whenever I apply this moisturizer. It never felt like it was drying throughout the day. It never felt like it was overly nourished or overly moisturized. It just felt right. It just felt right. So I completely emptied this product and it was delicious. My skin drank it up and I would be gladly repurchasing this again. Next we have a retinol product. This is Selfless by Hiram Retinol and Rainbow Algae Serum. This I do believe is the best product out of his entire range but I am just personally biased. I do really appreciate this retinol formulation. It is just really beautifully elegant, lightweight, glides into the skin. It doesn't irritate your skin because it comes in an encapsulated form of retinol. It slowly releases over time. If you are new to the retinol game, I do think this would be a really, really, really good beginner product. I just adore this. I found myself reaching for this over other million different retinol products that I own and it is that gentle and you do still see results over time and I already restocked on this because I love it so much. This I think I emptied a while back. This is Aromatica or Aromatica Aloe High Effective serum with hyaluronic acid and vitamin b5 there are tons of ha b5 serums out there i think this is one of them this definitely has a really really great lightweight formulation that's very thin and watery but i wouldn't say it's like really really different or groundbreakingly um, amazing and outstanding compared to other hyaluronic acid serums. I do really appreciate Aromatica's sustainability efforts and what they're doing in the entire Korean beauty industry space to be honest so I still would purchase this to support whatever they're doing but from the product standpoint formulation standpoint i think my best hyaluronic acid serum is still going to be the la roche posay hialu b5 serum okay we have another toner pad here this is so good or so good feel so calm toner pad using cabbage leaf water as the main ingredient to soothe down the skin this was created by a fellow youtuber content creator here on youtube sue beauty so go check her channel out she is amazing at making very vulnerable and real content especially around her skin her body her weight changes and all that so i just adore her as a person and she always sends me a lot of these and i'm honestly personally biased but i do think that among a lot of toner pads out there this is hands down my favorite one and it's really really gentle and i love that the texture of the cotton pad is also super super soft it's not abrasive at all so in the summertime i just store this in the fridge i use maybe two or three pads to just cover up my face to cool down and i'm good to go my skin is well prepped well moisturized well hydrated in the morning i would just use this as the very first step in my morning skincare routine to wipe away any type of excess skincare product that was left over from the other night i already have a backup item in my closet so i'm excited to open a new one Okay, next we have hand skin pore cleansing oil with PHA. This product is a cleansing oil that just removes your makeup. This was in my vanity for about two years and this comes in a very generous size. So it did actually take me two years to really, really use this up. And it came in really handy whenever I'm wearing sunscreen on my body, especially waterproof sunscreen on my body because this comes in such a generous amount i would just literally slather this on my entire body in my shower to do a first cleanse and then i'll follow up with a body wash to remove all the excess sunscreen because sometimes you know when you're over applying sunscreen especially in the summertime it's hard to completely rub it off your entire body and then you just become like really itchy and red um, at least my body turns to that so this was really effective in that would i repurchase this i think there are definitely better makeup remover products products out there that I would much prefer but this was a really solid one next we have a body wash here this is from Innisfree I've never tried Innisfree's body product so this was my very first it's called my perfume body grapefruit body cleanser I really dislike this I would not repurchase it but I went through it because I felt responsible to empty it um, but every time I used it I was like oh I really don't like it the initial scent the first note is so pleasant it does smell like literally straight up grapefruit you're left with this kind of weird 
ammonia smelling like very it, it just kind of like pierces your nose almost but that was the biggest biggest con of this product otherwise i would have repurchased it it is what it is i still used it up last but not least we have some makeup items definitely something that you guys have seen me use over and over and over again this is maybelline lash sensational waterproof mascara i do think this is hands down like the best best mascara for straight lashes that really does need thickening volume this one is sephora waterproof retractable eyeliner in number 10 matte brown i just love this guy because it is so easy to use it doesn't smudge or budge it's waterproof it stays on for the entire day i really adored this and i think this was probably my seventh pencil that i repurchased and i already repurchased it and i already have a lot of backups next we have a brow pencil from benefit this was kind of like my old favorite and i just kind of reintroduced this into my routine and i forgot how good it was so came back to that oldie but a goodie vibe i love how beautiful and pigmented this is without overpowering your entire eyebrow game honestly i suck at describing makeup products but this was a solid one i already repurchased this and will repurchase again i almost forgot that i have this this is iliyun sunscreen spf 50 plus pa 4 plus is something that i bought in korea a while back i think i used it for over a year now i loved how generous the amount was so i use this all over my body and i took this on vacations i mean this is such a gentle chemical sunscreen using modern innovative filters that are not allowed here in the united states but this product was just so beautiful it was just creamy melts into your skin really really beautifully i would highly recommend this and i would definitely repurchase oh my god i keep forgetting there are more products so really the last item is something that is not new i mean i'm very loyal to the products that i really really love and this product served me well during the winter time and colder month and mind you new york city has like six months long winter i feel like so this came in really handy this is time is running out mist which is like an oil in Fused facial mist so this would be my very first step of my morning skincare routine in the winter time it kind of coats with a little bit of oil layer which i really appreciated you can just sandwich it with more nourishing serums like gbr and this 113 moisturizer and you'll be set to go for the entire day so i enjoyed this definitely emptied this and will repurchase emptying a product is just so gratifying especially when you're overloaded with a lot of new products out there and my entire closet is filled with new products that are unopened so i make sure that i become a maximalist and i use up all of my products that i have to be as responsible as possible and i hope you do the same too if you do have anything that you empty that you want to share please share it in the comment box below with the rest of the people here in the pom pom fam i would really be keen to check out what you have emptied but yeah that is it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye